Hello world. Hmm. You know me when I go somewhere, I'm usually excited to do um, live videos and give daily updates and stuff like that. But this time around, I'm very emotional. I'm just so proud of myself that I don't cry again just like that. And um, I think it's because I'm stepping more and more into my my role and um, my purpose and um, sometimes it's still tough like today i can't do all um 14 stories i've done 10 that's enough that's enough for me i don't know how much pain our children have to suffer for us parents and guardians and grandparents to listen to them I don't know how much acting out they have to act out for us to pay attention and not reject them but instead believe them and hug them and love them I don't know how much rape they have to endure for us to keep family honor aside and you know fight for them seek for justice even just do something I have, I have worked with many people, maybe 40, but to sit in a room or on the floor <clears throat> in a healing circle with 14 survivors and um, some representatives of survivors and listen, one story, I don't know if I would say deeper than the other. I thought I could just sit straight. At one point, I had to move up to them too. Goodness gracious. Sometimes we see young girls or young boys acting out, you know, abusing drugs, addicted to drugs, addicted to sex, addicted to whatever. We don't know. We pass judgment. We are quick to point out. We don't know. There's one person who can't have children anymore because her womb was taken out. They were raped three different times and they got pregnant each time. So in the course of the scraping, they just took out the womb. So she can't have a child. What kind of a life do we expect such a person to live? If it's not that grace should just come and fall and settle on her like that. And the stories abound. They are not my clients. I'm not going to talk more about that. But I'm just going to say that I really, really think we parents are failing our children. And today in our world, it's not only girls anymore. Girls are boys. And when we fail them, they turn to each other for support, pair support. Even us adults, we do it. We turn to each other for support. That is just how we are domesticated. As children, we look up to our parents, and when those parents fail off, fail us, yes, my dear, push. Come in, my dear, come in. And when those parents fail us, well, we look up to our friends. Thank you, darling. Take care now. And then imagine if those friends are just as broken as we are. What would be the solution? Well, let's drag, let's shoot, let's sniff, let's go to the party, let's drink, let's... What else? Because it at least helps them to escape the pain, even if for a while. I heard the story of a young girl who was addicted to tramadol. What are we going to say if we see her acting out? all that anger then you say she's stubborn she's rebellious some said they told their parents they told their mother and their mother said hey 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 let no one hear as you are telling me this is the first and the last time you're opening your mouth to say that story to anybody some even said they were asked is it true another one 
God said, they asked her, what did you even go to do then? Like any child who visits the family home has to be raped. Go to the beach and catch all the people wearing swimming pants there and rape them. If it's because of the way people are dressed. I think we have for so long laid the emphasis on the wrong person, the victim. We are blaming them. For what? Have we not seen people even with iron gate teeth still enter inside? Are we going to ask them, oh, maybe you did not put three layers of cement, you did not put ten rods of iron, you did not do this, you did not do that. Oh, my heart. I was not going to sleep with this today. Oh, no. I can't go back and finish. I can't. I can't. I, I, I reached there like that, seriously. Oh, Lord, no. And some of these kids, these young girls, they say it's the first time they say their story or that when they said it, nobody believed them. Or they say you look for it. Or you too like it. Oh, you hang around with people. Oh, do you know? Why can't we? Why can't we? We are quick to go to church. We are quick to pay tithes. We are quick to shout hallelujah. We are quick to invite Father to the house. We are quick to go on pilgrimage to Mecca, to Rome, to um, Jerusalem or Israel, whatever. We are quick. We are quick. Big day, Maria. We are quick. Anything that will show outside, the, how do you call this thing? Outside reverence and stuff like that, we are quick. I'm preparing myself. Sometimes I feel guilty just leaving my children, even for a day. It takes me a lot. Sometimes I just say, well, I'm going for myself to bed. I just love to go back. And I just really want them to know they can always tell me anything at any time. And also they should know we have been talking about this thing. Nobody, nobody, even your father doesn't touch you like that. I don't. Nobody. Nobody. Oh, goodness gracious. Or is it teacher in school? Or is it the man of God? Or is it neighbor? Or is it this? Or is it that? What kind of stories did I know yet today? Weke. How much pain? And you know, when you, you have some pain like that one, and then you are, you are hopeless, you don't know what to do with that pain. Because we have not been taught how to process pain or to put the pain down somewhere. So we carry that pain inside us. And we carry and carry. And other things add up. Sometimes we feel, oh, okay. for example, one said, they said, don't say it because if you say you might not, you might never get married. Now you don't say it, then you get married. And you cannot have a good relationship with a man you married. And then one day now he has to know because of the way you are behaving and everything. And then maybe now he turns you out or he ignores you there and starts going him all over the place. What are you going to do with that pain? Some have turned to smoking some to whatever, lesbianism, anything. Just to numb that pain. Because you don't know where to put the pain down. So you want to numb the pain. That is what alcohol does. That is what drugs does. That is what sex does. It helps you to numb. So we would rather have our children numb their pain than tell us so we help them to process and we also pursue the perpetrators. When families don't pursue these perpetrators, they go and negotiate. Negotiate what? That money is going to unrape that child? What kind of betrayal is that? You know, uh, uh, persecution, as far as rape is concerned, is not automatic in this country. It's not like Theft, they just catch you, you are gone. No, even if they catch you, you are raped, they start. If the victim and the family says, We don't want to persecute, what are they going to do? Drop it.
So the victim and the family must be willing. The statute of limitation is 10 years in this country. If that child was 3 years when they, they were raped, like Judy, in 10 years they will be 13. Do they know how to go and start a case? Do they know how to contact a lawyer? What do they know? So I really honor that child's parents, mother in particular, who said no. All the pressure and the threats we got there, she said no. And by her faith, I said no. I'm going to go there. I will not stop. How many parents will do that? How many? Who will take the money? Take the money and do what? And go and have the child stitch or something like that? And is that going to wipe the child's memory? Is that going to give the child another womb? Is that going to do what to that child? And that child is going to grow up. And even if there's still a womb, the child will have another child. With all that brokenness inside the child, what does that child give down to that child? What? What does that baby inherit from this broken mother? What? I have watched a lot of Iyala fix my life to know that this thing is not magic. It happens there in America. It happens here. I've worked with a lot of people. Ah, why there right in that hall? I got the new, another girl who has been raped three times by three different people and nobody wants her in the family. People think she look for it. Mm -hmm. We are failing our children. And I would, I, I don't know, this is my platform. I would talk. But I know one day, even if it's when I'm not around, this thing is going to be taught in school. This thing is going to be something like, no, 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 no. The, the, the revolution has started. We are not stopping. That's why I came to this event. Because I wanted to support my sister. And I wanted to hold space for these young girls. But I didn't know it was going to be this intense. And this morning, I felt it and I knew I had to pray and commend this day in a special way. But even then, oh no... And they're so beautiful. Okay. Eesh. We all have different levels of brokenness. I know. I know I have my own plenty. But these ones are still young. Maybe, maybe their families can still try to make up with them. At least just believe them, just hug them. You know, just a hug can heal somebody. A hug. But some, nobody hugs them. Nobody in their family, nobody believes them. And so they are left to their own device. They, you know, of course they live with each other. They hang around with each other. They smoke with each other. They do whatever with each other. That's their own home. Can you blame them? When I see those girls now in Douala and wherever, some of them, I don't know their stories. I don't. So I can't point fingers. I don't. I just cannot. I don't even expect anybody to point fingers at me. So why should I point a finger at another person? But I'm saying this so that those of us who will listen and my share and those who will listen later realize that sometimes, all the time even, don't point a finger at somebody. You don't know their story. And let's stop this holier than thou thing. Because when you see people in same sex relationships or whatever, you don't know their story. You don't know what they don't want in, in having what are you call it, whatever kind of relationship, bisexual or sexual. Oh, oh my goodness. Nah. I still have some way to go, you know, to be <laughs> to be a top psychotherapist. No, 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 no. I couldn't stay there and listen to all of those stories. I had to leave. I had to my head. I don't think I'll attend such an event again next time. You know, when you walk one after the other, you can do a maximum of three, four per day, and that's fine for you. But when you have to sit and listen to 14 people tell their stories, 15 people, 17 people, no. And all the emotions again, and all the emotions again, and you keep feeling the same things are running in the inside there. 
the rejection, the denial, the betrayal, the abandonment, the oh my goodness, the stigma. Go there, you are smelling. Do you know where that smell is coming from? And this kind of pain does not go away. That means that even if I'm as, as I'm sitting here, if I did, if I had not done my work, I would still have a lot of pain inside me. And people will not understand where that pain is coming from. There was a time when I was really acting out in my life and I didn't even know it was all of that pain from my childhood. So it's very important that we process pain. But do we know how to process pain? Do we teach our children how to process pain? Or we don't even want them to feel pain. Hey, don't cry. Don't say that thing here. Ah, oh, you can be strong. Then, 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 then. Hey, hey, don't finish talking. Papa, papa, it's okay. Forget about it. No, no, let nobody hear about it. Uh, uh, uh. And that's how we parents, we would die with our own pain, our hurt, our shame, our everything. And so our children, they grow up to with their own pain and their shame and everything. They die with it. They teach their children the same pattern. Grow up with your pain. Cover it up. Suck it in. La, 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 la. Die with it. Uh, 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 uh. we have to break it sometimes somewhere we have to and that's why I put myself all out there and so I teach my boys see you can mess up but that shouldn't stop you and there's no need to carry that shame all your life or that embarrassment or that whatsoever me and whenever I come to her events I bring copies of my books I want the girls to read and see that hey and now you can give yourself the peace and the love you were looking for from your parents. It is tough, but you can do that. And sometimes the parents will catch up, sometimes not. Forgive them, let them go. You live your life. But it's usually tough. It's tough. I'm hoping that they're going to get there. Because even just the courage to talk about their stories, some of those stories were heavy. Heavy ones. Okay, you know me now. I, I like to desensitize. I don't want to sleep with anything that can be huge and stuff. So I decided to just do this live and, you know, just dump this thing here. And then um, we can only do our best, you know. We can only do our best. I mean, what else? <laughs> Apart from do our best. Oof, let me go and bathe and come and sleep. You know, I have to be out of this place first thing in the morning. Oh my goodness. And that's why people like us, civil society organizations, we cannot afford not to work with each other, support each other. Because if we really want to help better people, you know, we can't do everything. We can't. So it's good that we support each other. We hold each other's hand. We, we do things together. Some projects, some programs, some events like that. Me, I don't have many problems. Somebody invites me and I can make it. I can. I cannot. I'm not going to. But I'm not forging myself to think, oh, no, I should the one. Oh, no, I don't want to invite anybody. Oh, no, 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 no. We are wasting too much energy and time trying to fight each other. Whereas there's so much work on the field. Look at all of these children. How many can I work with? How many can Nakiti work with? It's so much. And then you have your own life to live. You have all of that. And so I was grateful the lady of social affairs was there to say what they can do. Uh, I've not used their services that much, so I don't really know in practice, but at least it's good that there is that service. You know, um, I was there. Thank God I have, you know, all this capacity so I could do that. Okay, well, uh, some people like to say it is well. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mabel, for joining at such short notice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is pathetic, my dear. It is. But what can we say? What I know is that uh, there has to be a point in your life where you decide that you are not going to be controlled by that.
pain by that incident you have to take that decision yourself especially when you become an adult if not you are going to stay inside the stock and everything and i think that's why the girls uh, applied to come to get that courage to do that and then to continue and so it was a very wonderful thing um uh, yeah going back i uh, haven't learned a lot and um let's see how it goes god bless us all thank you so much